Good afternoon. We move from uh, uh, virtual currency to another topic, which is part of this conference, which means the quality of the life in cities and the sustainability. My presentation will be about the green and blue infrastructure, which was partly covered also uh, yesterday by presentation of my colleague uh, uh, Wojtěch Kotecki or colleague from Prague Institute of Planning, Barbara, uh, Martina Bauerová, Barbara um, uh, Lišková and other presentation. Uh, my presentation will be about economic aspects and about um, including resident preferences to planning of green and blue infrastructure in the uh, city, how to support it uh, using economic methods. Uh, uh, I am a researcher at the uh, Regional University in the Czech Republic, Jan Evangelista Purkin in Uski nad Laben, and also CEO of a small environmental uh, NGO uh, located here in Prague. Um, yeah, uh, currently we are facing a lot of uh, challenges in the world. For me, as an environmental uh, economist, one of the most important is the increase of the population together with urbanization, that the more, more and more people are moving from villages, landscape to uh, cities, and they would uh, use the city as uh, the place for living, working, and for all activities uh, they, uh, we usually do in the cities, which means we uh, lost a lot of uh, space of greenery because uh, we need to uh, build new houses, new shops, new uh, offices and so on. And so this is one challenge. The another uh, challenge, which is the same for the whole world, is the climate change. I will not speak a lot of about it, but I'm uh, happy that currently we don't need to discuss whether, it's, uh, whether there is some um, climate change or not. Uh, I'm happy that uh, in the last few years that it's clear that uh, the uh, climate uh, changes is and uh, it's not uh, discuss, uh, uh, it's not necessary to discuss. In the city, uh, we can uh, meet with uh, some uh, challenges which, which are connected with draws, floods, with quality of free uh, air, with biodiversity, with, uh, with drinking water, which we have not enough in some, uh, some part of, uh, of the world. Uh, what we can do it, we can implement it a uh, lot of uh, measures uh, either adaptation measures or nature-based solution, or we can call it uh, also green and blue infrastructure. We can do a lot of in the cities uh, itself uh, to implement new measures such as uh, green roofs, such as greening of streets and so on, planting new trees and so on. But uh, uh, we, knew, we need to do also a lot of in peri-urban areas, in the neighborhood of the cities and also in the landscape to uh, retain the water in the landscape and. Uh, uh, and to, uh, to protect the uh, environment and, and so on. Uh, what is important is that, or what, uh, that we have some positive change uh, regarding the green and blue infrastructure. In uh, last few years, uh, the awareness about the elements and the importance of the elements uh, is uh, increasing. Uh, there is a uh, high interest of uh, obtaining multiple types of benefits we, uh, we get from the green and blue infrastructure elements. Uh, there is also increasing uh, knowledge and experience of designers, landscape architecture, planners uh, about the measures, and there are also a lot of money to, to do the measures. Uh, so we can... We can make the cities much more uh, liable, much more greener, much more, uh, um, much more uh, uh, resident, uh, resistance to climate change. Um, what this means, uh, we can change the, uh, the routes, we can change the uh, streets, we can change the squares, we can uh, change also parking slots and so on. But still, in many cities, it's not so nice uh, as in these uh, pictures uh, above me, uh, but in many cit uh, cities, the current situation still is with some asphalt rules, with, uh, 
uh, streets without uh, um, trees, some, uh, some squares which are very ugly, with ugly elements, which are not, uh, not, uh, uh, not interested for, um, uh, for spending uh, free time. Um, why uh, such problem persists? Uh, the implementation is, uh, uh, is limited uh, on limited scales. We can uh, meet most of the measures in big cities such as uh, uh, capital cities or uh, bigger cities, but in small cities uh, uh, we can meet only a few examples of, um, uh, of such um, measures, adaptation measures or elements. And uh, what is the reason why we have these troubles is that uh, the benefits which we get, which are provided from the green and blue in infrastructure elements are not taken in the, uh, in the decision making. What it means, uh, we get a lot of, um, uh, lot of um, uh, benefits from the measures, but how to uh, get it in the decision making? It's, uh, it's water uh, retention, uh, amount of water, it's some uh, cleaning of uh, uh, air pollution and so on, and a lot of numbers, a lot of uh, elements, a lot of criteria, and it's, uh, it's uh, very difficult to, uh, to translate it in some numbers and in some arguments why we uh, need to do it. Uh, what is the st status quo that uh, in case we uh, do not implement any changes, we lose of many opportunities to uh, get from green and blue infrastructure. Uh, in case of implementing, we can uh, get a uh, living center in the, uh, in the city, we can uh, support, uh, uh, support uh, um, places for um, recreation, we can uh, get more biodiversity in the cities, uh, we can support um, rainwater uh, um, management in the cities to protect uh, the cities from flooding, flash flooding, river flooding, and, and so on. Um, uh, what these opportunities uh, means? Uh, these opportunities are mostly called uh, ecosystem services. Uh, what are ecosystem services? It's nothing new, but new terms for uh, which is um, uh, the same for nature sciences, social sciences, and other. Uh, we tried to find the same language when we try to change uh, the areas, uh, the, the cities, uh, the landscape, and so on. Uh, we speak mostly about four groups, about provisioning, regulating culture, and supporting services, which, uh, which, are, uh, which are composed of many uh, individual services, such as uh, um, uh, in terms of uh, regulation, as uh, erosion uh, regulation, runoff regulation, mi microclimate regulation, and so on. Uh, in terms of um, uh, provisioning, it means that we get some food, uh, we get some water, we get some biomass wood from the environment. Uh, in terms of supporting, we, uh, we get place for education, recreation, uh, we, uh, we, we get place for meeting each other and to build uh, soci uh, social groups and social inter to support the social interaction. Um, yeah, uh, we know that some, uh, some problem persists. Uh, what is the reason? Uh, there is lack of uh, arguments who supported the, uh, the nature-based solution or elements on green and blue infrastructure. And why? Because uh, when we speak with, uh, with a representative of municipality, we get such, uh, such a reaction to, uh, to questions why you don't implement it, any of these uh, measures that, yeah, uh, we, uh, why do we have to spend so much money on uh, uh, I want a measure that is vi uh, visible. I understand it how, uh, but how we do explain it to the voters. So uh, there is some resistance of many, um, many represent city representatives to, to change the environment and to, uh, uh, to change the preferences of, uh, of measures which are uh, supported. Um, 
how, how to get some uh, economic arguments, which is the main uh, topic which I will uh, today cover. Uh, we implemented some economic assessment, which is based on cost-benefit analysis. It's something as, uh, for example, if someone from you is some businessman, they do some analysis of benefits and costs. But uh, in cost-benefit analysis, we, uh, we taken into account also uh, some uh, indirect uh, benefits and costs, some non-monetary non uh, benefits and costs, which uh, influence our quality of life and, and uh, the society uh, itself. Um, what it means, we try to identify and monetize all possible benefits and costs uh, which are connected with the measure, uh, then to compare it uh, during the time and, uh, and get some results, either in, in terms of uh, a year which we uh, need to um, uh, um, uh, pay, uh, uh, which, uh, which is the payback returns, or uh, we can get some net present value of the, of the measure. Um, what it means, we, uh, we do the analysis in a uh, few steps. We starting with the uh, identification of the measures and benefits, then we need to uh, implement some, uh, some valuation techniques, which I will skip today, uh, we have not too much time, and then uh, we get uh, such numbers. I, um, yeah, what I uh, will tell to the cost-benefit analysis uh, more that we don't care no, uh, not only about the private benefits but also uh, about uh, public benefits uh, which are partly overlapping but we take the whole amount of benefits uh, we have and such uh, cost-benefit analysis or other types of uh, um, uh, economic assessment uh, could be used to, uh, to um, develop some uh, policy instruments such as subsidies to uh, subsidize uh, the implementation of measures and to cover these positive externalities which is the benefits uh, above the private benefits of the, uh, of the investor which are currently the main barriers to do the measures because for the investor it doesn't make sense to do it because the private uh, benefits are lower than the costs uh, uh, which are necessary to implement the measure. I have uh, here, I prepared some examples of, uh, um, of uh, economic assessment which we can do it. Uh, all of them are from smaller cities in the Czech Republic. Uh, the first example is uh, Rain Garden in a small city, Roudnice nad Labem in the uh, northwest uh, of the Prague, uh, circa uh, 50 kilometers far from this place. Uh, uh, in the city, um, it's a big issue, rainwater management, and they implemented a lot of measures. One of them is this rain garden, which, uh, uh, which were built two or three years ago uh, within the revitalization of the whole street or uh, of the uh, streets in the whole area. Uh, the main problem in, the, in this area was that uh, there was no willingness of the water company to, uh, uh, to uh, care about the water in the, uh, in the sewage and they say stop, we would like to, uh, we, uh, we wouldn't care about the water from the street uh, in the process of um, purification of water or cleaning the water. So uh, the city um, is trying to implement such a uh, um, lot of measures to, to reduce the water uh, uh, going in the sewage system. Um, uh, what it means uh, to build uh, this, uh, such measures, uh, I prepare some, some big table of uh, uh, ecosystem services connected with, the, uh, with this type of uh, measure. Uh, the most important um, aspects are reducing uh, runoff water on the sewage, uh, flood protection, water quality improvement, local climate uh, regulation and increasing the aesthetic value and uh, supporting habitats of uh, uh, habitat creation and uh, biodiversity support. It's big table and to discuss uh, with politicians and, um, and uh, decision makers uh, with such tables 
It's, it doesn't make sense. It's a lot of time on both sides because uh, the decision makers say it's too complicated to, to discuss it. What we do, uh, we try to um, assess, uh, monitor, evaluate all the measures which is able, which is, um, uh, which is illustrated with, uh, with this uh, coin, which uh, we are able currently to involve in economic assessment and then we, um, we can get some, uh, some results. The present value of cost, meaning the implementation cost and maintenance cost of this measure uh, in a time horizon of uh, 25 years, it's uh, about uh, 15,000 uh, euros. The benefits which uh, were assigned by the coin uh, this, uh, this value of these benefits, it's about uh, 18 thousand, which means uh, if, uh, we invest, uh, if we invest one euro, we get uh, 1.2 euros back, which means it makes sense to do it. And if we uh, try to count the uh, uh, return of the investment, we get it in one year, which is super nice from business, uh, business point of view. Uh, the second example is uh, not green, uh, greening of the tram, but uh, uh, green, uh, green roof uh, on my uh, university, which uh, I uh, supported and um, uh, was a member of the people who, um, who make pressure to, uh, to build it uh, because we use it also for, uh, measurement, uh, for measuring uh, uh, impacts of the green roof and yeah. Uh, it's uh, on the old building, but uh, was built uh, during the uh, reconstruction of the of the building. It's uh, green roof, uh, which means that uh, uh, extensive green roof, which means we uh, use uh, substrate uh, with about eight or ten centimeter, um, and uh, they are mostly sedum plants. Uh, also the same table, but you can see that there are more benefits we are able to uh, monetize. And uh, uh, the, in this case, uh, uh, the results are not so, uh, not so good in the return of the investment. It's about 14 years, but uh, the appreciation is a bit higher. And you can see also the total present value of uh, cost and benefits. The last example which I preferred are greening of the, uh, of the uh, tram line or uh, street with the tram line in Ostrava, which is uh, one of the um, biggest cities in the Czech Republic, uh, which uh, were also built uh, during the revitalization of the rail uh, belt. And yeah, it's uh, almost the same plans are used as in the case of uh, green roofs. And there were a lot of motivation to do it. Uh, some of them mention our noise and dust reduction and also supporting of, uh, of um, uh, rainwater management. Um, the same table with, with the benefits. In this case, uh, a bit less benefits uh, could be included. And what are the results? Uh, a bit um, shorter time of uh, return bags, a bit higher appreciation. Uh, of uh, such measures, but also in this case, it makes sense to uh, do it. Uh, we, till now, we speak about the economic benefits, but what is also um, uh, important to include uh, the preferences of residents, what they would like to have in the cities. Uh, we do a lot of uh, uh, questionnaire survey uh, in Czech cities on, uh, and also internationally, uh, I prepare some example of uh, uh, our big survey uh, done in eight Czech cities and one uh, German city in which uh, we would like to know whether the uh, people uh, prefer more the nature-based solution or uh, more uh, some artificial measures such as urban garden or artificial uh, park the same by, uh, by uh, uh, blue infrastructure, uh, whether they prefer nature-based streams or uh, some non no streams or uh, streams running in the pipe. 
uh, and uh, about equipment of the uh, of the parks and uh, areas. Uh, you can see uh, two cards we used for um, for the survey that uh, we uh, ask more times the same people about two options. It's some type of uh, um, survey uh, which is called. Um, um, uh, which is called um, a trace experiment that they uh, choose more times about two uh, two items in this case two parks with different levels of attributes and uh, from this um, from this survey we can uh, we can explore what they prefer and also we can put uh, to this also uh, economic uh, value uh, some results uh, related to uh, type of greenery type of park it's uh, obviously that the people uh, prefer mostly nature-based form of park, uh, less uh, semi-nature, and uh, the lowest preferences uh, were connected with urban gardens. More clear preferences uh, were by streams, by uh, blue infrastructure, that uh, then in this case a nature-based form was much more prefer to streams running in the pipe or semi-nature streams. Uh, in some uh, cities there were, ch uh, there were changes, uh, there, were, there were different, uh, uh, different results, but uh, there were mostly only uh, between the second and the last uh, option, but in each cities, uh, in all cities, the nature-based form was most uh, preferred. Uh, some conclusion. Uh, it's it's fantastic to, uh, to do the planning, but it's necessary to support them by a uh, lot of analysis, which could be also case of economic. We can do a uh, lot of analysis, as, such as cost-benefit analysis. Uh, we can care uh, also about uh, sources of financing these uh, um, uh, this, uh, measures. Uh, uh, we can care also about the political feasibility and then uh, when we put uh, these results together, then we can find a successful pathway for uh, city adaptation from social economic po uh, point of view. And what is an, um, important that economic argument is strong one. Uh, we, can, uh, we can see it on uh, many cases when uh, we do our analysis and then support the uh, implementation of the measures. And it's, uh, it's very good uh, 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 information which could be used in communication and the communication is very important in uh, to get the acceptance of the measures from the uh, from the residents and this is from my side everything what I could provide you in 20 minutes which I had for my presentation if you have some questions maybe it's time here or later I will spend uh, the whole day here. So we, we can take a question or two if, if anyone has one. I guess you've explained everything so thoroughly. There are none. Okay, then thank you so much, Jan. And we'll be back in a few.